this week on the show, on this holiday special of the Dario Roy Show, we have Mark Masri and Alberto Russo from the multi-platinum Juno award-winning group, The Tenors. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding the true meaning of the holidays and Christmas. The reality is the holidays are not about commercialism, buying gifts and holiday parties. The true meaning of Christmas is rooted in love, giving and being kind to everyone around you, not just during the holidays, but all year round. We sometimes get so caught up in buying gifts and the buzz of the holidays that we forget about the real meaning of Christmas, which is giving love, receiving love, and being around people we love and cherish. This holiday season, commit to at least one act of kindness, whether that's volunteering at your local food bank, checking in with friends and family who might be alone or going through a hard time, or if anything, simply giving a stranger a smile while walking down the street. Though these are little acts of kindness, we never really know the impact we've had on someone's life or how much we've brightened someone's day by simply being kind and thoughtful. From all of us here at Tag TV and The Daryl Roy Show, we would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, the holidays are just around the corner, Christmas, and you guys are going to be back on stage performing for a Seasons of Miracles concert. So tell us about the concert. Let's start oh. with you, Alberto. Uh, you first. Uh, no, this, we, we just did... Uh, Two days ago, a beautiful concert in Winnipeg. Winnipeg, yeah. Very cold, also there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and it was amazing. The show sold out a lot of people, and uh, first Christmas show for us, and it was amazing. Now we are in Vancouver, and we have to perform also in Ottawa, in Ottawa. Ottawa, yeah, that's right. Ottawa, and uh, in uh, Toronto, uh, and also Toronto is sold out, and we are so excited. We are so excited. Music is such an integral part of Christmas and the holidays. And so when we get to get out there and spread holiday cheer through music, um, it, it, it really fills us up as well. Although we, we're really looking forward to the shutdown, we love uh, the engagement with our audiences and getting on stage night after night. And to be here in Vancouver playing at the PNE. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Alberto Uso and Mark Masri from the multi-platinum Juno award-winning group, The Tenors. Mark, Alberto, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you guys doing? We're great. Good, How, are good. You? How are you? I am doing amazing. I'm so excited to talk to you. I'm a big fan of your music, so this is exciting. This is our holiday special, by the way. Uh, well, happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> happy <laughs> holidays. So... Yeah. Before we get into the success of the tenors, I want to find out, you know, what led you to joining the group and how fate led you here. Wow. Well, uh, Let's start with you, Mark. Me? You want me to start? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> um, I've been a friend of the tenors for many years. Uh, had that kind of relationship where if one of the guys um, went down because of illness or they were having a major life event like the birth of children, I would be the one that would step in and sub on those on those gigs, on those concerts. And so always had a great relationship, considered them, you know, like distant brothers. And so to have the opportunity to come in when <clears throat> Frazier had announced that he was going to be retiring from the group after 16 illustrious years, um, it was a natural fit and a natural progression for me. So that's that's how I came to be part of the, the family. Mm -hmm. And Alberto, wow. I know you're from, from Italy, so... Yeah, <laughs> <how did I'm laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I always uh, loved the tenors. And uh, I met them in June. We we did the first concert together, and then uh, beautiful friendship together. And we say, uh, "You want to join this group? It's amazing." Uh, and when we met them, always a beautiful energy together, and uh, we start this beautiful adventure together. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I can add, story, I can add to the story from Alberto's perspective because he might not be able to completely articulate this, although he speaks very good English. <laughs> No. Um, he had had an incredible success in, in Italy in, in a reality show there. Oh. Was, uh, is, I should say, uh, a very recognized name, a household name in the country of Italy based on his success there. And so him looking to take um, his amazing music and, and art outside of the country of Italy to the rest of the world 
um, the tenors were brought together with Alberto and, and the rest, as they say, is history, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, hey, you got asked to join the tenors. <laughs> Who's going to say no, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's funny. I was talking to my sister and she's like, the tenors, those are the good looking guys that sing amazing. I'm like, yep. Those are the guys. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> when did you guys realize your passion for music and realize your gift for singing? Well, started, bro. There you go. Oh, okay, really? I started yeah. when, I was, when I was six years old. My father, he leaves my voice in, my, in the shower. <laughs> and he say, oh my gosh, you have to go to a teacher. And uh, then I start to sing. I start to sing and then I... Uh, it's like I, I I do I'm I'm good just to do music. If I for all the things I'm very ugly. I'm doing, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so it's okay. Music is, I think is my way. I started when I was seven years old. Mm, very nice. And Mark? Yeah. Yeah. For me, I mean, I grew up. Uh, my dad was a minister, and so I grew up singing in his church from a very young age. My mother says that I could form melodies before I before words. So, um, and being the fact that she was a singer, it, it, it was, it became, or it was very natural for me. And so music, I knew early on that music was going to play an integral part of my life. I mean, I've made a couple of sort of educational decisions along the way, was pursuing medicine at one point, uh, but then music pulled me back in. Um, and for a very good reason, because it certainly is my, my first passion and, you know, haven't looked back. Wow. I mean medical profession, um, I mean, reality show, and it's all led yeah. you here, which that's is, right. wow. yeah, that, that, that's amazing. And, you know, the one thing about your music, it's very healing, harmonious, and it's magical. So, so for our international viewers tuning in from all over the world, tell us more about your musical style. Yeah, well, the tenors, we describe ourselves as a classical crossover theatrical pop group that, that, pulls from a number of musical influences. I mean, everything from sacred classical to pop, to rock, to soul, to, you know, whatever is contemporary in, in any given period of time. But we really tried to meld them together into a, a style that is palatable to the, the masses, if, if I can say it that way. Try to give you a little bit, like give everyone a bit of something so that when you come to one of our shows, you feel like you've, you've, um, you've had a, a musical buffet <laughs> and who doesn't love a buffet i love a buffet I love. <laughs> alberto what does your hometown in italy think of all your success with the tenors my home home your hometown what is home messina ah, what Miss do they think about you now being with the tenors oh my gosh I, so i forget yes, i'm from messina now i live in toronto it's very cold <laughs> Yes. It's less less five, less six and arrive to less twenty. Yeah. For me it's crazy. I think that I... <laughs> but okay. That's his way of telling you he loves the weather in Canada. I live no, I joke. Yeah, I, I live <laughs> in the Italian place in Van and I'm a little more comfortable. Yeah. That's comfortable, good. Yeah, that's perfect. But uh, it's always uh, I, I I need to use a little. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you see the CN Tower back on, <laughs> in our set, but I'm from Toronto yeah, too. Yeah. See it right here. I look, I look, I look yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm from Toronto as well, so I feel your pain with the weather and how cold it is. Yeah. <laughs> the first time the snow is the last the week. So, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. that's why we, you have to run off to Italy in the winters. <laughs> yeah, this is six months here and six months in Italy. Yeah. This is exactly. Which six months do you want to be here? Which six months? Uh, yeah, the winter? <laughs> the winter, no. Winter, no. No, sure. exactly. Yeah. Messina's <laughs> beautiful. Uh, I mean, Sicily is beautiful, but they do, and, and they definitely do not experience the temperatures that we experience here. So it, it's been a bit of climate shock for this poor guy right here. So he's I doing know. well though. He's got all the coats and the scarves and the hats and he looks out his condo window in the morning because uh, he's high enough that sometimes he's above the snow. Mm -hmm. And so he could see it falling below him. So he knows how he needs to dress for the day. Oh man. <laughs> you know what? You guys have had so many milestones in your career from uh, performing for six American presidents to performing on the Oprah Winfrey show. So I want to ask you, what is one career highlight that's really dear to your hearts? Um, let's start with you, Mark. Okay, so I'll speak to the success of the tenors up to this point because we are kind of... Um, 
not kind of, we are new to this family, this brand, the legacy that, that has been the tenors, a successful legacy for so many years. So to, for them to have the opportunity to perform on shows like Oprah Winfrey and stand alongside Celine Dion and, and sing with her and to sing for all these presidents and for Her Majesty the Queen, you know, for a number of special events in her life is incredible. And they have been absolute uh, milestones. But for, for the group and for the members that have been with the group up to this point, for us coming, uh, you know, just joining in the last five months, it's all new to us and we're sort of getting up to speed with all of these experiences that they've had. But I'm going to let Alberto speak to probably what has been the most memorable performances for us thus far since we started. You know, we, we, we perform into Hollywood Bowl. Yes, we Hollywood Bowl. Royal, Royal Albert Hall for uh, Disney, uh, Lang Lang uh, play Disney. So that it was a beautiful experience. We, Amazing. Wow. A wall of people and uh, beautiful energy and we love together the Walt Disney. Disney. And all the song, the Disney songs. That for us, sing a Disney song is very beautiful. It's because we we born with this music, and we're, now we sing this music for Walt Disney with Lang Lang. is the best piano player of all the world. Amazing <laughs> classical yeah. pianist Lang Lang and his wife Gina Alice. Wow, so magical. Yes, it's magical. And with the orchestra in, in in at Hollywood Bowl, it was with the Los Angeles Philharmonic. In London, it was with the London Philharmonic. And yeah, it's just magical to be able to sing these songs, like Alberto just said, that we grew wow. up on, and to to grace those iconic stages. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, yeah. I know they've had amazing experiences up to this point, but this is pretty special. Yeah. Absolutely. And speaking of magical, the holidays are just around the corner, Christmas, and you guys are going to be back on stage performing for a Seasons of Miracles concert. So tell us about the concerts. Let's start wow. with you, Alberto. That's uh, you first. Uh, no, this, we we just did uh, two days ago a beautiful concert in Winnipeg. Winnipeg, yeah. Very cold, also there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but it was amazing. The show sold out a lot of people, and uh, first Christmas show for us, and it was amazing. Now we are in Vancouver, and we have to perform also in Ottawa, in Ottawa. Ottawa, yeah, that's right. Ottawa, and uh, in uh, Toronto, and also Toronto is sold out and. We are so excited. We are so excited. Christmas for us is very important. And then after this beautiful concert, we come back with our family. We're so excited. I come back to Italy with my family. We, we, yeah, we so yeah. excited to see our family and stay Christmas with them. Yeah, I mean, he, he summed it up beautifully. I don't really have anything to add to that other than just Christmas. Music is such an integral part of Christmas and the holidays. And so when we get to get out there and spread holiday cheer through music, um, it, it, it really fills us up as well. Although we, we're really looking forward to the shutdown, we love uh, the engagement with our audiences and getting on stage night after night. And to be here in Vancouver playing at the p &E, Fairgrounds, amazing venue. And um, of course, Winnipeg was a wonderful night, sold out night. Of course, we're going to be, he mentioned Ottawa. The venue is the National Arts Center in Ottawa. And and Toronto, it's Roy Thompson Hall, but it's sold out. So if, yeah. if, you're, if your viewers want to get tickets, there might be a, a ticket here or there, but for the most part, it's sold out. And it's just a beautiful time of coming together, you know, sharing some of our own personal Christmas stories, um, singing the classics, some of the famous Christmas yeah. songs, having fun on stage. Um, yeah, you just gotta, Amazing. you have to come to, you have to be there to, to know what we're talking about, so. Mm -hmm. We're going to link all the information of all of the, the different cities you're going to be performing and uh, link tickets as well. Um, but yeah, give us, a, give us a little preview of some of the songs you'll be singing. What, what songs will you be singing there? Uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on our troubles will be out of sight. That's one. We're going to do... Uh, then we do a okay, Christmas Miracle. Christmas Miracle, <laughs> yeah. our first single. Yes, yeah. written by Alberto, uh, which is a beautiful song. What is it? It speaks about it's the hope and let it go and, uh, is and a, healing. Is a, and yes, yeah. it's a Christmas now. It's, it's Christmas Miracle. <laughs> it really is. Uh, that's why we called our tour season of Miracles tour. Um, what else we're gonna we're gonna do? Uh, we've got a Silent Night. We've got Old yeah. Holy Night. We've got oh, What's Your Soul? What are you doing? It's a White Christmas. White Christmas. <laughs> oh. Style. Um, uh, Clifton sings Noel. Victor does a beautiful rendition of Please the Lord's Prayer. Please come home for Christmas. We've got yeah. a little bit of something for everybody. So if yeah. you were watching this and you were in one of the towns we're playing, go out and buy a ticket. I promise you won't be disappointed. 
yeah. Do you guys ever get nervous at all before going on stage? Do you have a, like, a little um, little routine that you guys do just to kind of unwind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we all kind of have our pre-show rituals, but definitely like 15 minutes before we go on stage, we have a backstage huddle where we just uh, just put it all out there and just try to um, encourage each other and just remind each other of why we're doing what we do and to just sort of get united and get on the same page because we are on the same page, but just to remind each other why we're doing what we do and to just go out there and enjoy it. And, and we just, and we have fun, you know, that's yeah, the most important thing. Happy. Nervous? No, not nervous. so much. I mean, every now and again, I might be wondering if I'm going to forget a dance step. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, that's yeah. just kind of new for me. Um, and these guys are great dancers, so no. I'm always. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm not a great dancer. I'm, uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's kind of. No, it. yeah, we and we enjoy. We live for this. We love what we do, and uh, for us, when we go on the stage, is always magic. It's like home. It's home. Yeah, yeah it feels feel comfortable. Home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are you most looking forward to this holiday season, Alberto? I'll I'll start with you. So, uh, again. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking forward to after we're done the tour? And you, oh, and yeah, after home? the tour, yeah, I come back home with my family. I stay with my family, with my dog, uh, with, yeah, I enjoy <laughs> with my family. And, uh, yes, I lost food. My mother is the best <laughs> cooking of all the world. And I, she yeah, is a good cook. I'm so fat when I come back. <laughs> I take maybe 10 kilograms, but it's okay. <laughs> just, just must, then a diet. Then a diet. Then a diet yeah. in January. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the same thing he is. I think most of us just love being with family and um, and just you know turning off for a couple of days and just being present with those we love and just spending time um, and the food and you know the, the drink and the company and just really just relaxing and probably. Yeah an afternoon nap every day <laughs> yeah. a little sleep yes absolutely and you know i created this platform to inspire to uplift and to showcase success stories like yours so i, I want to ask you for anyone that's watching that might be going through a hard time because the holidays you know is obviously a very um, momentous occasion, but for some people, they might uh, be grieving or going through a hard time. So what would you say to uplift and inspire them? Um, let's start with you, Alberto. I think that we, we um, I say this, the people that maybe it's a little sad that can pass more time with, with the family because family is always a base for everything, is a focus. We need to pass more time with our, our family. We always we have to think that we have to we have to take the the the, the, the how to say the must day the, the last time like the, make the most of every day. Yeah, yeah. Pay, take the most of every day. This is the for me. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good, Alberto. That is so so important. And I think for for those people that perhaps are watching and that maybe don't have family to spend time with or they're they're grieving the loss of someone like i lost my dad in august so this is going to be our family's first christmas without my dad so it's we're going to certainly be remembering him we know he's always with us in spirit um but just taking time i mean i think the, if we're being honest we if we're feeling sad in the moment let's not try and run away from that sadness but let's move past it and through it and look for things that we can be grateful for Mm -hmm. And because there is so much beauty out there and um, a word of encouragement for those that maybe just don't have any family or they're separated from family. Um, your family is, is who you make it, you know, like mm -hmm. so you've got a company of friends or or people that are that, that care for you that even if you, it's a caregiver, if you're in a long term care home or whatever the case may be, there are people in our world that care for us and let's like Alberta said, let's run towards those relationships and look for the love um, that's being extended to us because it's there. And on the flip side, if you see someone in your world that you know is hurting, go to that person. You could be their miracle, right? You could be the only one that loves them or expresses that love towards them, that care and that concern for them at a time of year which it can, when it can be very difficult for so many. And uh, just try and you know find ways to, to look for um, beauty in this world because it's there 
Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, sometimes it's just even the littlest thing of giving someone a smile on the street that could brighten up their day. And sometimes we don't know the impact we have just smiling at someone and, you know, they feel like knowledge. So I love that. Just the little things. Pay um, for their Tim Hortons going through the drive through I mean, who doesn't love a free Tim Hortons except for him? <laughs> exactly. but who doesn't love a free Tim Hortons? <laughs> Absolutely. Coffee is a whole other conversation, Dariel. We won't even go there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I take, I take is seven coffee every day. Here, wow. the box and Tim Hortons for me is like uh, water and sugar. <laughs> I always sleep. coffees, my gosh. I always sleeping. Okay. Yeah, he's got a very, very particular palate for his uh. coffee. Because we know coffee next to pasta and pizza is number one in Italy, right? <laughs> I mean, the Italian espressos are pretty strong, so I can see why. Yeah, I, I don't want to say it's bad. It's different. <laughs> we have a different culture, but mm. it's okay. I'm, I'm have my culture is so different and it's so, so hard to change uh, really fast. It is my, <laughs> so yeah. I need more espresso coffee every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, espressos are good. And, you know, what is next for the tenors for 2023? What can fans uh, expect? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're we're going into studio end of January. We're going to be yeah. writing and recording a new album. We're super excited about the concept of the album. We're going to keep that under wraps for now because it will be tied into a, a worldwide tour and which will start in the fall. Uh, so we're really excited about that, which obviously new music inspires new creativity and new videos and new projects. So you just have to, you know, track with us on tenorsmusic.com and we'll keep you posted. We promise. We just love our fans. We so appreciate our fans and their support and their love for what we do. And we try to keep engaged with you as much as possible and keep you in the know as to what's happening. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah. New music, new show. Very soon very soon very and exciting. we're going to release it a little bit at a time i think right alberto yeah. we'll record a couple <laughs> songs let you hear where we're going record a few more so yeah. it's coming it's coming. i love it thank you so much mark and alberto i loved your energy <laughs> together you guys are hilarious <laughs> yeah, we, brothers. we were brothers the second he got into the car yeah in <laughs> june of 20 or may of 2022 Whoa. i was like yeah this is this is yeah. my brother i yes. love it well, thank you so much for being on the show today. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and uh, I hope to have you back in the new year. We yeah. love that. Happy holidays, Merry happy Christmas holidays. from all of us, Clifton, Victor, Mark, and Alberto. We yes. love you all. Merry Christmas. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.